हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वन न्यू लारावेल पैकेज एंड एज यू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन पैकेज इज लारावेल लॉगर बेसिकली दिस पैकेज कीप आई ऑन योर ऑल एक्टिविटी ऑफ योर लारावेल एप्लीकेशन स्टोर ऑल एक्टिविटी इन डेटाबेस एंड शो विथ गुड यूजर इंटरफेस मीन्स दिस पैकेज प्रोवाइड रेडी यू इंटरफेस एंड डैशबोर्ड फॉर चेक your logged activity everything is automatic and ready to use so let's try this package today in my laravel application let me open the repo of this package laravel logger and let's see all the features are listed here so you can see it and well documented also this package work with all the versions from laravel 5.1 to current and this package also supported with this all roles and permission packages and without as well and here is a step how you can install this package via composer in application so just click here copy and open terminal and just paste it here and let's see it's in progress and installing in my application and you can see it's installed successfully next is register the package but i think my laravel version is 10 and no need to register because as per the instruction and you can see 5.4 and below register the package with laravel and after 5.5 we no need this step anymore so let's jump on the third step and just need to fire migration php artisan migrate so all basic migration run which are provided by this package so let's fire and you can see one laravel logger activity table created into the database and next thing is we need to publish the vendor so let's see copy and just fire and laravel logger dot php file is created so let's check into the config directory and you can see all the default configuration is added here and let's see all the variables enable sub menu and everything is customizable also load all the cdns through this config file because this package provide by default some user interface and that interface depend on this all the js and css so see here laravel logger pagination enable so you can enable or disable pagination from here you can set record per page so everything is customizable and you can set also you can change bootstrap version from here jquery cdn if you want to use another package Uh, means another versions jquery you can add and change it from this configuration also enable live search and lots of thing provided by this package so you can really enjoy this package and you can easily use this package here is some description given about the 
config you can copy and put in your dot env file and all the variables are load in this laravel logger.php config file and if you not specify then use default one so yeah you can specify whatever you want to change and also you can use this default as well now let's see how we can use it we need to add activity middleware into the our route so let's open web.php and yeah it's twice i generate authentications of laravel which is by default given by laravel ui package so you can use it and also you can use it your own authentication whatever implemented in your application so let me copy this line and going to add here and i going to log all the login and other activities into the my application so middleware register here with this name activity and also you can see how you can use traits include the traits call opening of your class so you need to add this and also you can manually log activity as well as if you want to log specific thing in your any function in your any service you can do it with this method you just need to use this activity logger class and call statically this activity method and pass argument whatever you want to log so you can do it like this now you can see all the routes for the open the user interface which is provided by this package you need to call this routes and if you want to customize this route you just need to make one setting disable into the config dot means laravel logger dot php config file and just make it false and then you can specify your own route and your own route url and route name also some changes related to some configurations related to search and all these screenshots given here which which ui provided by this package so let's open login screen let's register new one app user not found because in new version we have a model inside the model directory and previously this user dot php is outside of the model so just we need to make little bit change into the this config file let me show you where you yeah here so just specify model and save and let's refresh mm, 
let's check names this of this if dot models so it should work ah. save and let's refresh now vendor dot pagination dot booster for not found so some issue with the pagination so as of now as a workaround let me find pagination and just make it false and let's refresh now you can see the screen so you can easily check all the activities with the time with the description with the route you can see register logout login 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 register home all the activity are logged automatically you can see chrome window so it's record operating system it's record browser it's record ip address everything traced by this package so you can easily also it's available with good filter you can see all the methods routes ip address you can search easily you can specify user id and email address log detail page i going to pass id and and you can see all the details in d back to log i try to click this log menu but not opening and uh, let check something app dot scs in resource and you can see bootstrap is import here and it's import through the package dot session and bootstrap 5.2.3 used into the application and this one is used i think bootstrap version is 4 and maybe bootstrap css cd and yes you can see 4.0.0 so let's try to install version 4.0 six point latest and let me open terminal and npm install and now you can see name and you can see this clear log activity log show clear log so let clear and you can see here all the clear logs thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you